where I'm facing what is described as a one-dimensional dungeon crawler. And I'm here with the designer of the game who is going to introduce himself and give a brief description of what to expect in this. And the reason I've come here is because it has the most innovative control system I have ever laughed at. So let me show you how the game works. I'm this little green dot moving up the line. As you can see, I'm dying horribly. But would you care to introduce yourself and explain exactly what sure. this game is? Yeah, so I'm Robin Baumgarten. Uh, I'm from Germany. I live in London. And I made this game and it's, uh, yeah, it runs on this five meter long LED strip. And the controller is actually a, a door stopper spring. And uh, it has an accelerometer in the top so you can, it can detect how you move it. And in the game, you're kind of this green guy and you move across this entire strip in a series of 10 increasingly difficult levels. And you overcome obstacles, like for example here, this force field that's trying to push you back, so you need to push against it. And there's also these red enemies, like this one on the end, which uh, kill you if you touch them. So instead, what you do is you kind of wobble the spring, like, uh, like you would do with a normal spring, to attack it. And uh, yeah, in this game I kind of explore all these different game mechanics that I can put in a one-dimensional line, basically. I've got to admit, this is absolutely fantastic because the difficulty scales really well, but it can be artificially scaled as well by the positioning of the line and the shape you put it in. That's right. So every time I show this game, I try to put the line in a new shape. It's something new, exciting. I had to go up trees before or overhead where you have to kind of really lean backwards. And so this shape is also new now for, for EGX here. And uh, I'm quite happy with it. You have to kind of contort yourself a bit. Yeah, I'm so finding it very difficult to hold myself up while doing this. <laughs> so yeah, there's a boss fight in the end, but it's quite difficult. Only a handful of people have beaten it so far. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a challenge to get there as well. So this is lava, so you can't kill it. So you need to get on this gap and try to stay on it, um, try to beat the level. This level is still a bit experimental and I try to mix up the levels every time. So this is actually the first time I've shown this level and it's a bit too slow still, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to improve the game every time I show it somewhere. This is hilariously good. <laughs> You've done such a good job with it as well. I mean, it's got... Uh, a few awards on the wall there. That's right, yeah. I've, I've shown it in Berlin earlier this year where it won the WTF award, the What the Fuck award, and also the Audience Don't award. award. <laughs> and it's nominated for a prize at Indicate, so I'm flying to LA uh, next month to see if it wins. So that would be nice. Uh, I, I could see this being like a really popular party game. Yes, yeah. it works really well in darkness, and uh, I've shown it at a few bars, and it's really nice there. And, uh, oh God, I can't imagine playing this drunk. <laughs> exactly. It actually teaches me a lot about durability because drunk people are very rough with the equipment. So it's always a, a good thing to see if it survives the night. Well, I, I think you've chosen the perfect thing to test it with. I mean, it's a door stop. It's designed to stop a door slamming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what actually gave you the inspiration to make such a bizarre device? All right. So, yeah, I uh, actually was uh, researching on YouTube and I saw a cat video where a cat plays with a door stopper. And it was just like reaching under the door and going brrrr. And I thought, wow, this is a cool mechanic. And the cat was clearly enjoying it. So I thought, wow, this would be something humans could enjoy really well as well. Um, so it took me a while to figure out how to combine it with an LED strip as well and how to measure how you bend it. But uh, eventually I figured it out and this game is the result of it. <laughs> it, it it's getting very, very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I can see. So. Um, the game actually gets quite hard in the end, and not a lot of people have beaten it. <laughs> this is... This gets my seal of approval as the most innovative game at this show. Wow, thank you. <laughs> of all the things I've seen, something as simple as a door stop and an LED strip, that is... That is real genius. Glad you like it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Congratulations on making something absolutely wonderful. And what is it you call this game exactly? It's called Line Wobbler, and so it's a one-dimensional dungeon crawler, yeah. Yeah, it's, 
as I said earlier, it's sunny and shiny. There's already been a game called Thing on a Spring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much for showing this off. It has made my day. You're welcome, man. Thank and you. As yeah. always, I've been Salis. This has been Line Wobbler, and I will see you next time. Bye.